Okay, let's talk about something that we all dearly love. The lovely automatic emergency braking systems. Yes, the automatic emergency braking systems. Now, if you're an owner operator and you have more control over what systems are on your truck and what systems aren't, then you may not have experienced these things. But if you are a company driver that works for a LTL company or a mega fleet, you have probably experienced this system. Now I'm gonna talk about how they're supposed to work, how they're not really working, and then I wanna talk about what the government wants to do with these systems coming up very soon. So stick around for that. Now, how these things are supposed to work is, say you're coming up to a car in front of you, you have your cruise control on. Car in front of you, going slower than you. Now, the first thing it's supposed to do is passively slow you down to keep your distance. Reduce your RPMs, and if you keep getting too close, it will engage your engine brake. And then if you're just running up on them way too fast, maybe they're breaking down or something, you just didn't see them going really slow, it will actually activate the brakes, the brake brakes. Now, that's how it's supposed to work. Now, how it's not working is there's lots of reports from drivers going down the road, coming up to an overpass, and all of a sudden the warning lights come on, all the sounds come on, and it just locks the brakes up right there in the middle of the highway because it thinks that overpass is an object in front of you on the road. Now, I've not experienced that. The most I've experienced with an overpass is the lights come on and I think the engine brake may have kicked on for a second. It goes out and I keep going. It has not locked my brakes down on me yet. So, fortunately for me. So, that's how it's not working. People are having these problems with it activating when it's not supposed to, right? Now, I know for a fact that this system will also work if you don't have the cruise control on. And how I know that is, is this. Across the street from our terminal in Dallas, they're building a new warehouse, so it's under construction. And they got the road tore up in front between us and them where they've dug it out and they're laying sewer lines or something, I don't know. But they put those big metal plates on the road that you can drive over. So, I was coming in one night, I pulled in to go towards the terminal, it was right near our gate. I got up really close to that thing and I was only going about five miles an hour because I know that it's rough on those plates. Going about five miles an hour and just before I got to the, the plate, the warning lights went off, the sounds, and it locked me down right there. Stopped me straight in the middle of the road, completely locked the brakes down. And I know I did not have my cruise control on going five miles an hour down our street. So that's what it did to me right there. And it actually took a few seconds for it to release those brakes and let me use my accelerator again so I can get moving again. So I can see if it did this in the middle of the highway, that could be a problem, especially if it's raining or snowy. I don't know, that could cause big problems. So that's how it works, how it doesn't work. Now let's talk about what the government wants to do. Now we know this $2.1 trillion infrastructure bill that was passed and signed into law last year has all sorts of stuff we've talked about. The teenage apprenticeship program, all sorts of things that it's got. This is another thing. They wanna take this emergency, automatic emergency braking system and require manufacturers to include them in all the new trucks, big trucks, and passenger vehicles. So that's something else that you're gonna have to do. If you don't know operate and you buy a brand new truck, once this thing takes over, you're gonna have to get that on there or go out law and delete it. I don't know. I don't know if that'll if it'll even work that way. So that's what they're wanting to do. They're getting ready to propose the rulemaking changes, and I guess there'll be comment time, but it's in the infrastructure bill to do this specifically. So you can probably bet that it's coming just this way, same th 
way everything else has come on the technology of these trucks. Now, another thing they want these systems to do once they put them into place is they want it to be able to communicate, the manufacturers communicate with the system and report anytime there's a vehicle accident with a vehicle that has this system on it. So that is what you can look forward to coming up soon to a new truck near you. So tell me what you think. What's your experience with these systems? Have it shut you down the middle of the highway because of an overpass? Uh, does yours work good? Tell me what you've experienced and what you think about the government requiring them to go on these new trucks. So if you're interested in more content like this, go over here and I'll put up a video and a playlist maybe of other videos that I've talked about important things. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you have, I appreciate it. And we'll see you later.